Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Sage and Nisa. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in right now with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, I pray that it be none of me and all of you. God, we just thank you right now, Lord God, just for who you are in our lives. God, we appreciate you. We adore you. God, we just love you so much. God, meet, meet every single need, Lord God, whatever it is that we are in need of. God, thank you for doing it right now. Thank you for going ahead of us and making sure that it is already done. All we have to do is ask. And believe by faith that it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. So God, we just thank you on today. I have another prophetic word from the Lord on today. Amen. God is saying that your kingdom spouse has a list. Whoa. Your kingdom spouse has a list. And you know, when God first gave me this message and downloaded it into my spirit just to be able to give to you guys, I was just so blown away. I was just so excited because the way he, you know, gave this to me, um, it was just so awesome, so great, so wonderful, right? And um, you guys, I was just reading all day um, yesterday. You know, I, I had started um, at the beginning of Genesis um, chapter one and I'm in chapter 24 now. So I've just been reading and just, you know, meditating on the word of God and, you know, just praying for each and every one of you. Right. And, you know, the Lord spoke to my spirit, you know, to allow me to allow you to know that your kingdom spouse has a list. Right. And the scripture that he gave me, amen, um, to give to you on today is that scripture where it talks about we have not because we ask not. Does that sound familiar? Okay, so if it does, I'm going to give it to you. So we're going to be in the easy version. Amen. Amen. So it's going to be coming from the book of James, right? So it's going to be James chapter four, and it's going to be beginning at the um, second verse. All right. So it says, you want to have something for yourself, but you do not get what you want. You even kill other people. You try to make things that are not yours, but you cannot get them. So you fight and you quarrel with each other. But you do not have these things because you do not ask God for them. Even when you do not ask God, you do not receive anything. That is because you ask for the wrong reason. You just want to use these things to make yourselves happy. Amen. So that is the scripture God gave to me to give to you. And again, that was James 4, beginning at the second verse, all the way down to the third verse, right? So your kingdom spouse is saying, right, that they have a list, right? So when God gave this to me, this is the way that he gave it to me to give to you. What can I do to keep the person that God has specially designed for me. So on this list, you know, they want to make sure that they are praying, that they are going to God on your behalf, right? Like they, they're ready to love you. They're ready to adore you, right? They're ready to go on trips with you. They're ready to do things with you. They don't want to just get you and just be lazy and, and that's it, right? They don't want to just be in a routine of things where they just, you know, just go to work. We come home, we on autopilot. We do the same thing all the time. No, they're concerned about your character, the person that you are, how you make them feel, how they make you feel, right? You know, where can I meet you halfway at to help you in your purpose, to help you in your destiny? What can I do to cultivate you? What can I do to bring out the best? They even read on it. You know, they even read books on it, right? You know, they're not lazy. They want to continue to feed their mind, right? And their spirit, right? With knowing how to treat you. What does Sarah call Abraham? Sarah called Abraham her Lord, and it signified that, you know, she was obedient and she was submissive, right? And, you know, she was willing to, you know, follow Abraham, right? And this is what, you know, your kingdom spouse, you know, is wanting you to be able to do, to be, you know, submissive and, you know, obedient, right? You know, they can be able to cultivate you and bring out the best version of you because when you show up, they want you to show up being your best, not a sense of just, I'm trying to control you. I'm trying to just tell you what to do. 
your king of spouse is more like I'm trying to love you like Christ loves the church. So that person, that king of spouse that you have, that is your king. That is your queen at the end of the day. That is the person that is going to be, you know, responsible for you that, you know, that, you know, they're, you guys are becoming one flesh. Let's go back to the scripture. You want to have something for yourself, but you do not get what you want. They don't want to lose the blessing, right? They want to keep the blessing. So you don't get what you want. You don't get what you want if you don't ask. I'm just going to be honest. If you don't ask and have faith and wait patiently on the Lord to do it, you're not going to get it, right? It starts by asking, right? Before you jump online, right? Before you get on any dating sites, right? Before you hook up with somebody from a barbecue or from the from wherever you are, right? Begin to ask God first. Go to God in prayer first. Because the enemy can send you things too. So go to God first. Ask God first. He wants you to put him first in every single thing that you do. Who am I talking to on today? It's somebody that's a witness out there just like I am that knows that it's something different about when you ask God for something versus when you go out seeking and doing things your own way. Amen. You go on down right to this last little piece. You know, it says that is because you ask for the wrong reason. You just want to use these things to make yourself happy, right? You know, when you've been hurt or when you've been in a situation to where, you know, things didn't work out the way that you planned, you know, you can't just jump back into something. You have to wait and you have to trust God because when you are hurt, you have to monitor, you know, your cravings, right? You have to die daily to those things that are not appetizing, that are not pleasing to God so that God can begin to give you what you need to have. Because again, you lean into your own understanding. Again, the relationship will be over with or whatever you're expecting God for will be over with before it starts. Um, the word of God allows us to know that we have to walk by faith and not by sight. So God didn't call you to be lazy, right? You have, walking requires you getting up and moving, getting up, you taking care of yourself, getting up, you're getting yourself back healthy again with this list that your kingdom spouse has. Like, God, I don't just have this list of things that, you know, I want and how them, how I want them to look and all of that. It's more on the side of how I want to treat you, right? You know, they want to know all about you, you know, not what I can do to get this person, but what can I do to keep this person? And they're not leaning to their own understanding with it, guys. They're going to God, right? They're going to God for direction. Like, come on, I, I don't just want this specific shape, person, size, color, race, you know, God, I, you know, I know you're going to give me the desires of my heart and the de desires of my heart. I want them to align with your purpose, right? You know, God, I've taken the time to trust that you have exactly what I need. So since you're going to give me and you know exactly what I need, then I want to not just get it. I want to get it and keep it. Mm -mm -mm. I just felt that so heavy for somebody on today. So that is the message that, you know, God allowed me to give to you on today. So we want to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves. We want to make sure that we're getting the, you know, the counseling that we need if we need it. We want to make sure we're cultivating ourselves. If you have a business that you're working on, you know, pursue that business, pursue that dream, continue to be the woman and man of God that, you know, God is calling you to be until he actually, you know, brings forth, you know, that kingdom spouse, right? That kingdom wife that he has for you continue to push forward because you are getting so close to getting, you know, what it is that God has for you. And he has his very best and he's about to pour out his best to you. Amen. Go ahead and just snatch that down right now to snatch that blessing down right now god i receive my kingdom spouse right now in the name of jesus god i trust you lord god that you know what's best for me god and i trust you that i'm going to get and keep what you have for me because god i'm going to trust you all the way through god continue continue to deliver me from making poor choices and bad decisions in jesus name i pray Amen, amen, and amen. Shalom in the Lord. Many peace in the Lord. See you in the next video.